YouTube family. Uh. Surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the rest of my day. Surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the rest of my day. So believe. In your dreams, rebuke the schemes and live your dreams. Uh, so believe in your dreams, rebuke the schemes and live your dreams. Uh, surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and mercy. So we in. Black History Month. I don't care what month we in. I don't care about the color of your skin. If you out chasing your dream, you have my full support. Yeah. If you willing to step out and go the distance and live out your dream, you have my full support. I don't care about the month. In the book of John, it says, look beneath the surface so you can judge correctly. And as I take a closer look, I see a bunch of overcomers and people that's overcoming. So today's video is about overcoming procrastination and giving up on your dream. I mean, that's like half the world. Nobody has walked this planet or will walk this planet that's not going to procrastinate. And some, in some part of their life, they procrastinate on something. And by the way, if y'all didn't know this, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I got a PhD. <laughs> I do. I'm not proud of it, but I earned it. And the PhD I'm talking about is a procrastinating hinder degree or procrastinating hinders decisiveness. Yeah, y'all got one, too. We ain't alone, but we overcoming. You know, the, did you know the average PhD costs about $106,000. Sheesh. $106,000. And it take about six years to get. Now, the PhD, a lot of us have, take about 106,000 hours. And take about 10 to 12 years to get. But how do we overcome procrastination? First, we need to forgive. And I can't say this enough. Overcomers. If you want to know how to overcome procrastination, you have to forgive yourself. Set yourself free. I read a book by Joyce Myers title do yourself a favor and forgive and in this book she talked about her and her father's relationship and how she had to forgive him to go forward and a lot of us should take heed to move forward so forgive yourself you can't get that time back so today is the day another way that we can overcome procrastination is to minimize distractions. Yeah, and that, <laughs> that could be girls. You know, that can be men. Um, Yeah. Another way to overcome procrastination is stop booking yourself. Stop being so available 
to help other people reach their dreams. See, the people you helping, I said this in the last video, the people that need you isn't always the people that feed you. See, they need you and you helping them overcome and live out their dreams. Now, there's nothing wrong with that to be a help or support people, but are they supporting you? Probably not. Because that's who you is in the room. And you've done this just to take the pressure off reaching your dream. Don't do that. This is how you overcome procrastination by saying no. <laughs> and no. No is one of my newest tools. Scissors is one. But no is one of my newest tools I use to overcome procrastination and to focus on what I need to get done. Another way to overcome procrastination is to stay committed to the dream that you see. See, they don't see your dream. You do. And it don't matter if they see it or not. It's your vision. The people that you helping see to reach their vision, they secretly think you're lazy. <laughs> Trust me. They secretly think you're lazy. And since you're not doing anything, how about you just help me? But I'm here to tell you that laziness is not procrastinating and it's not a mental illness. So quit beating yourself up. Procrastinating is common. We all are guilty of this. But this is how you overcome procrastination. Is stepping out your comfort zone. Look. I say this in every video. You are looking at an overcomer. I procrastinated numerous of times. But this is what overcoming looks like. It looks like you. It looks like her over there and her over there and y'all over there. Overcoming look like you. So how do we overcome this? procrastination and giving up on the dream. You want to keep track of your victories. You know, remember your small wins. And one of the way to do this is fix your bed when you get out of it. Yeah, don't procrastinate. Just start your day with victory, with being organized. My mother taught me this. My mother told me that a messed up bed will make a whole house look dirty. So thank you, mom, for that gym. And I practice this. Now, it is times where you get emergencies and you might need breaks. I get that. But how do we overcome procrastinating is fixing the bed when you get out of it. You know, an exercise. Whether it's 30 minutes, go for a 30 minute walk. You stop procrastinating. Quit talking about, quit, don't be a habitual procrastinator like the people that say, I don't got the time. You don't? You don't got the time. Didn't you watch all the hip hop series? Wasn't you strolling for hours? Thumb strong. So, yeah. Don't be one of those. Exercise. You know, fix your bed. Oh. And quit hitting the snooze button. Please. Get up. I can't tell you the last time I used the alarm to get up. I go to bed at a certain time. And I wake up at a certain time. And the more you do this, it just becomes... Second nature. Quit hitting the snooze button. 
No, we overcoming over here. We overcoming. And this is the home for that. So. Quit hitting snooze. Learn to say no. Fix the bed. Minimize your distractions. In the book of Joel, Joel, I mean, it says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will profess. Your old men will dream dreams and your young men will see visions. You see that vision. Keep that vision. This is how you overcome. Procrastinating. So overcomers. What can you do today? To see that vision come true. To live out that dream. High five. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Peace.